Glenn Moore. I came to Montana in 1947. I worked my way through Harvest and wound up in, in working at Willard, Montana for George and Mabel Shetler. And I was a good worker. Uh, George took a liking to me and he said, if you'll come back and help me, I'll give you a percentage of the crop. And I thought, well, man, that's for a young fellow out of Arkansas, that's a pretty good deal. And so I did come back and I thoroughly enjoyed working with him and his family. And in fact, uh, kind of took a liking to his oldest daughter. He had two daughters. One was Hazel, who was the youngest, and Mary Ann was the oldest. And so her and I got along good, but we didn't get married until she had went to college and, and got her BS degree and then got her registered nurse. So, but we were still pretty young, so that was good. Uh, we farmed on several farms at the time uh, before it was over. But we took over the family farm in, in 1953. And when we got married, one of the first things we did was buy a health insurance policy. And there was two policies, and we took the best one. And the best one cost us $86 a year uh, for health insurance. We uh, uh, still got the receipt where we paid for it. In 1951, I bought a new Dodge pickup here from Randash Motors, and it cost me, and I showed it to Bill Randash yesterday, still had the receipt, and it was, uh, I paid $1,700 for it, but they gave me $400 for a car that wasn't worth anything. And, but what got me on the receipt was they charged me $45 extra to put a heater in it when I got it. And it was $5 extra because it had a nice paint job. But it was solid red. I don't know where they got the extra $5 because it was brighter red, I think. so. And then in 1953, I had a receipt I showed Bill that I had a car overhauled at Randash Motors. And the parts were uh, over $40 and the labor was a little over $30. So I, th I think the total load was something close to $86 to overhaul an engine at that time. So anyway, it was, uh, those were the some good and some bad days. I was rather shy when I came to Montana, and I joined the JCs, and I, I think that helped me as much as anything uh, working with that group. And that's the first time I'd got involved in, in, in anything in the city. The, uh, I got to be president of that in, in when I was in my 30s. And JC's at that time was very active. And I did a, had a good year because the mayor was a JC, as Ronnie Shepard. The uh, president of the Chamber of Commerce was a JC, that was Joe Steffes. And uh, Delane Beach was a county commissioner, and he was one of the JC's. So when we had a JC meeting, we had the commissioner, the, President of the Chamber of Commerce and the mayor there. And we also had some uh, uh, people like Gene Huntley and uh, and we talked some legal things and we had workers like Carl Hepperly. I mean, he'd help with every project that came along. So we really had a good group. But instead of going out that year and, and trying to get donations on any projects, we, uh, we thought we'd rather perform a service. Uh, to raise money, so we started the flag project. We charged each uh, business $12 to put flags out 12 times a year. There was over 100 businesses uh, uh, signed up for that. So on Mother's Day and, and or whatever day it was, there was over 100 flags flying on Main Street, and they were out there early in the morning, which you know the business person didn't. So it was a good service for them, and it was good for us. To raise money. One of the other projects we started that year was uh, uh, Baker Cleanup and the businesses uh, offered special sales for uh, cleanup and, and the school helped helped with it and, and uh, the garages would help haul away old cars and, and that turned out to be a good project in, in, in those years. And so that's uh, when I, after I got to be president of the JCs, I was still interested in, uh, in, in what's happening here in, in Fallon County and Baker. And so I helped start the uh, Fallon County Improvement Association. 
the uh, and some of the ones I remember on there, two of the big helpers on that was Russ Culver and, and uh, uh, mm, Denzel Young. And and while I was president of that uh, group, several people came to me and said, you know, we should start recording some of the old history or any more of the old timers die. And I thought, well, I'll call a meeting. So I called a meeting and not a one of those people that said we should do it came. But there was sure a lot of others that did. And we had a very good, interesting group. And so I appointed a committee to start recording the history and, and they started the old Fallon his, or flashbacks. In fact, they've done two of them now. And I appointed a committee to start a museum. And I never dreamed in my wildest dreams that it would ever turn out. <laughs> that was a good committee and, and men, we've, they've had some good helpers on it and I'm so impressed with what they've done now. And I didn't have any, I don't know if I had a right to tell them people what they should start these two groups, but they did. And then I appointed a nominating committee and they got a good group of officers and so it just turned out fantastic and it's good to see it here.